today is a bit of a different one. Went swimming on a Scottish beach with my friend Tracy. I hope you enjoy this little clip. Uh, I speak about swimming with turtles in Greece, a little recap here. I might show a couple of drone footages from Greece and also just make a little uh, announcement from my channel. I uh, hope you enjoy this. Oh, 
shadows in the water too. I don't know. I think that's me. It's my shadow from the sun. Whoa! <laughs> I swear, we've got to remember that this tide is coming in and it is getting deeper <laughs> the more we walk out. So we can end up. Actually, I swim. I swam with a turtle in Greece. Scuba diving. So I had a really interesting oh. experience. Someone I know was a scuba diver, so we still paid them, but we uh -huh. that well enough. But um, they're called dive codes, they're really good. And in Scuba Cologne, yeah. Stupa is a village in Mani, which is near Kalamata on the mainland of Greece. Uh, this is where my roots come from, believe it or not. I am dual citizenship. Uh, I've been coming here since little baby. And it's the beauty of the sea. And to be honest with you, the sea in Scotland today was almost as warm as the sea here. I am not going to lie, I was quite shocked. Okay, back to swimming with turtles. <laughs> I went in, I've never done it before, we had six metres and that's the deck condition I've done it. Okay, I think I'd just talk over this because you can barely hear what I'm saying because of the wind. Basically what I was saying was we were six metres depth. Uh, before I went in, I was bursting for a wee all the time. I think I peed like five times. <laughs> when I went down, I think because of the pressure, I could not wee and I was bursting. I had a really crap experience for the first 25 minutes. I was really painful, so we had to come up, eh, obviously for reasons. <laughs> then we came down and everything was sound after that. Um, and then other things happened when I came out of the water, my lower back went and I had a migraine and all sorts. Apparently so common when you've never scuba dived before, but overall it was a fantastic experience. So here what I'll go on about is before we came up, I had issues with my goggle and I had to adjust it and there was a way you could adjust it to get the air, you know, the water out which is what I'm saying here. I could barely see it on one side, but I could see, but that is when we saw the turtle. I saw it really clearly. Uh, afterwards, once we'd gone up, of course, and come down, I sorted it. It was so much better. Really nice as well of the instructor to have like carried the oxygen for me till we got to the water to stick it on. So I didn't have to carry all the weight because when you were in the water, you just don't feel the weight. Um, so that was great. Um, I was a little bit worried that my knee would uh, struggle um, but I didn't at all, um, being probably helped that I used to be a professional swimmer quite fast and it didn't do me any harm so um, yeah of course you're very light in the water too and we were going at a very very slow speed as well so yeah. I'll see you soon guys, all the best, I'll stay in touch through these random little beach well. <laughs> Okay guys, let's go with showing you some awesome places that I went to uh, some of them were the, for the second time I've been before um, so enjoy! Trajila is a beautiful village uh, along the coast just after Stupa uh, 
it goes 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 it's just a fantastic drive and some of the rocks you get you wouldn't see these without a drone <laughs> amazing um so yeah just definitely worth it especially if you like seafood go to the restaurant there go to the restaurant right in the middle So on the map, this is called Ayos Petros, but it's actually, there's a mistake, it's actually Ayos uh, Yorgos, uh, George, uh, which is a little chapel. There is a monastery down over the other side here, uh, deep down below it in the gorge, which you can visit, but it is closed. Um, it's only like a 0.3 mile walk from the car if you take the car down the dirt track, which we did. Um, and yeah, it's pretty insane, but really hot, so um, I would love to go back there when, you know, it's colder for a bivvy maybe. That would be awesome. This peak also, far in the distance, the very top, is that's one of the highest peaks, well, the highest peak in the Peloponnesus Mountains. I can't remember precisely, but I think it's 2,400 meters high. So I couldn't read the Greek on the map to tell you the the name of this theatre which is actually unfinished but it's below the village Plaza. It's actually just above the previous village 